majestic royal castle rises up from the highest point of the island of Stadsholmen, located in the middle of the attractive historical old town of Stockholm, known as Gamla Stan. In around 1180, the first castle was built here. This was later followed by the three crowns, the Tre Kronor. However, during the rule of Gustav Vasa in the 16th century, the predecessor of today's royal castle became the Swedish royal family's permanent residence. The unique importance of the building is highlighted by the traditional and solemn presence of the royal guard. In addition to its official receptions, the castle also functions as a museum. The Swedish crown jewels are also kept here. The design of the royal castle and its splendid facade was created by the architect Nicodemus Tessin the Younger. His father, Nicodemus the Elder, built the Tre Kronor Castle at the end of the 17th century. The castle was named after the three crowns that are depicted in the Swedish coat of arms. In 1697, a devastating fire swept through Stockholm and also the Tre Kronor Castle. Shortly after the fire, the castle of Kungliga Schlottet, designed in Italian Baroque style, rose up from the ruins of Tre Kronor Castle. During the mild summer months between June and August, the changing of the guard is performed daily. From the Vatican's Swiss Guard, the Svea Livgarde, that dates back to 1521, is one of the world's oldest military regiments. Because the great church of Storkirkan is located in the western section of the castle area, the palace ends in a beautiful semicircular garden. It is here that the changing of the guard takes place. One time, politics played an important role in palace life, and the ministers of state swore their allegiance to the king in the castle's great hall. But it was not until 50 years later, in 1754, that Kungliga Slotet, 
became an official royal residence when Swedish monarch King Adolf Frederick lived here. Today, the Swedish royal family resides on the outskirts of the city in Drottningholm Castle. Today, only special guests of state are accommodated in this magnificent building. The western façade that points in the direction of the castle's hill known as Slottsbacken is decorated with numerous statues that feature famous Swedish personages. In this way, the royal household pays homage to its most revered citizens. A statue of the architect Nicodemus the Younger is also included. Located in the historic heart of Stockholm, this castle with its 608 rooms is considered to be one of the greatest royal residences in the world. Accompanied by military music, the changing of the guard is an impressive event and is always well attended by great crowds of fascinated visitors from all over the world. Even the city's main daily newspapers include the starting time of the 40-minute long military parades that take place in front of Kungliga Slottet. to their palace duties. At one time, the royal guards played an important role in the daily lives of the people. The former regiment that once contained 200 soldiers was also responsible for law and order and also formed the city's fire brigade. It was only after the introduction of Stockholm's police force that the number of guards was reduced to 60. Along with the fascinating museums within the castle, the historical changing of the guard is the castle's main attraction. For more than 250 years, the cityscape of Sweden's capital of Stockholm would not have been complete without the splendor of Kungliga Slottet.